Hey everybody, it's Mike Geeky, that card guy, back to you with another video of a card show haul. This one's from the La Quinta Hotel card show in Phoenix, Arizona. Just picked up this weekend in June, and uh, we got a bunch of stacks here. We got dime cards, 50 cent cards, some dollar cards, some three dollar cards. We're going to go through it all with you here today. Let me get some of these stacks out of the way, and we're going to start from the cheapest cards to the more expensive cards. So we're starting out with dime box stuff here. We'll put them to the side. Let me know in the comments down below which of these are your favorites, which you, uh, of these you think is the biggest steal that I got, some good bargains. Now, most of these cards are probably stuff that I'm gonna sell from a dollar to $3. There could be some sneaky $5 cards in here, but most of these are gonna be dollar, $2 cards that I'll sell here locally at a card shop, in my collectibles booth, maybe on COMC. So I'll divide them all up and spread them all out and get these to all the different avenues where I sell cards. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we got Prism Miguel Cabrera. There's a bunch of these Prisms that year that are all uh, Prism Silver. We've got all different sports in here. I think there's baseball, football, basketball. There's some non-sport as well. Carmelo Anthony, some numbered cards of Derek Carr and Daniel Jones. Uh, there were a few uh, autographs hidden in here as well. So I went ahead and picked up a few of that that I know. They're autographs enough to pick them up. And Felix, I've got several times in person, so I picked that one up. You can see a couple different ones there. We'll put those there. I mean, there was a time where uh, his autograph was going for $10, $20, $30 on a card. But this one, I don't know if it's good or not. I've seen his autograph a couple times, and it's kind of funky like that. So I think this could be good. I'll get it checked out by JSA, and we'll find out if I could pick up an autograph card of Manny Machado for just a dollar. That's pretty amazing, but uh, we'll put that there as well. Picked up just a few of these Roberto Clemente cards. This one I got of Josh Allen, not the good Bills Josh Allen, only because it was numbered out of, I think, 99 there on the corner for a dime. I'm going to pick up color backup quarterbacks and stuff for a dime each. I just throw them into a box. If they ever get a start, you know how these cards jump up to $3, $5 pretty quickly. So Easton Stick, J.J. Watt card, Ian Hab. I told you there was a bunch of these Prism Paul DeJong or Chris Bryant, a couple of him. Pick up a few Eloy Jimenez, Topps Chrome rookie cards. I think there's a couple Ozzy Albies, Allen Ginter rookie cards. My House Trey Young, Kevin Porter, Stefan Diggs, Kellen Mond. Same sort of situation with Easton Stick there. Zion, Chubba Hubbard. A few rookie cards of his. Again, these are just a dime card. Keep going on. I'm not going to call out every single name that's in here, but you kind of see what's going on here with the stuff that I'm buying. Good quality players. Rookies that are still in the league and playing always have a chance to come back and uh, make a splash somewhere. This one actually I thought was really good. First off, a rookie card of a guy that actually did play in the league for a few years, and it is numbered out of just 53. I'm betting I'm going to throw this on CUMC probably at least for 5 bucks. but sometimes these black parallels from tops do pretty well. Uh, you'll see a scattering of some of these Garbage Pail Kids in here. That's number 88, so I think that's second series uh, of Dinosaur. Walter Payton card, Jake Plummer, ASU guy, local, so that'll sell for a dollar in my booth pretty easy. J.J. Watt, I love these acetate cards. They're not worth a whole lot, but again, they'll just be a dollar in my booth. That one's a glossy. Refractor of Steve Smith, and that one is numbered out of $2.99. There we got Brett Vett. A few Griffies from my little Griffey Horde collection. Numbered Deion Sanders card. Uh, numbered at 99 Alex Smith, and I just picked these all up because these are all minor league tops pro debut cards and they're all i think numbered out of just uh 99 in the back so again these were just a dime local player merrill kelly bonds insert more griffey cabrera chase utley another uh Correa prism pablo sandoval and that is the upper deck number to 99 i'm sure that one's going to be a few bucks on cumc larry fitz hall of famer kyler sam ellinger and that one's a, like the blue reactive uh, a few random uh, vintage cards right here as well. So this will probably be two or three bucks in my collectibles booth, these type guys. Ted Simmons, another autograph card. we got Larry Brown there. Jim Perry, another one of those Clementes. Here's another one. I don't know Jazz's autograph, but for a dime, I went ahead and grabbed him. Just setting those to the side just because I can. Some Griffey inserts. I love these die cut inserts. That, he's with the Giants in this one, but uh, he played with the D-backs for a few years, so that'll sell here. Love these non-sport cards, James, Dean, Frank, Sinatra, and Elvis. I sell these in my booth as well. Rodman, Kareem, Walt Weiss, again, just another one of these insert cards, probably from the late 90s, early 2000s with the die cut top there. Coach K, got to get Coach K for a dime. I think there's another one of these Jameson Crowders. Oh, yep, it's right there. Two of those. Topps Chrome, Blue Refractor. It's not numbered, but it is his rookie card. There's a few of these Star Wars cards. Again, 
picking these up for a dime and here let's go ahead and just grab these other couple we'll shuffle them up here to the top too that one always, this is always one of my favorites as a kid i don't know why just with c3po pointing off to the distance very bonds insert these were hard to get these draft day rookies uh, not a big name guy but his number out of 375 Derek thomas rookie stefan diggs kelsey kevin young that one's numbered out of 99 otani i'll pick up almost any otani card for a dime posey holiday numbered that one's, I think, numbered out at 99. And then there were even some of these best autographs for a dime. I just bulk lot these things up at some point and ended up getting, you know, 75 cents to a dollar per card when I sell those in bulk. Some more garbage pail kids. Slade, Slade. Pinned Penny, Deodorant. We got Just Desserts and Hans Off. Yeah, he's, look at that, cutting off his arm. All right, a couple of Griffey cards. I don't even know what these things were from. I just saw three Griffey non-licensed cards. I don't know what they were. I figure I'll just check them out. thought they were cool for a dime. A few UFC cards. UFC doesn't sell great in my booth, but every once in a while one will sell, so I'll throw all of these in there. Andre the Giant, same with WWF. Cool with Dominique. Shaq, Way, Jonathan Taylor. To it, rookie number to 99. Kind of cool. Another Dalvin Cook, another Kyler, and Joe Montana. That's that's in the dime cards. Let's check out the 50 cents. Decent little stack here, and you'll see the quality of car, the quality of player definitely picks up here. So we've got Kyler Walter Payton for my collection. Again, autographs, 50 cents each. These are one of our better quality autographs, at least by the brand. So I'll pick these up again. I'll lot these up. In general, I'm getting a dollar to a dollar twenty-five per card when I'm selling them in lots. So I have no problem picking them up for 50 cents a piece, even if they're nobodies. Let's see, we got Tom Brady insert. Keenan Allen, I think that's numbered out of 99. This Kenny Galladay, I think, is numbered out of just 20 right there. So, got to pick that up for 50 cents. That'll be a card I send in probably to COMC. Connor McGregor, I got that uh, Naomi o o Osaka, pick that one up. First card of her I think I've ever bought or found in one of the bargain boxes. Connor McDavid, and that card is numbered. Connor McDavid, as uh, it was there, 299. So, uh, that would def be, definitely be a COMC type uh, send in. Random hockey guys that are numbered. Refractor Messier, second year Ripken. Thought this cool card was pretty cool. Madison Bumgarner, I think it's numbered out of just 99 right there. Buster Posey numbered. Griffey insert. I love these cards. These blast furnace inserts, metal insert uh, acetate card from uh, what year is that one? You can see it. see it right there. I can't read it without my glasses. Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Joey Porter numbered. Barry Zito numbered. What's that one numbered out? It's 15. That card is numbered out of 15 in it. I paid 50 cents for it. All right, stack number two, Mike Trout, Joey Votto, Green, Fast Break. I don't know what the heck they call all these. Uh, Pablo Sandoval. This one was another one that was numbered, numbered out of 99. Carlos Martinez, but look, that one's numbered out of 25. Blue, uh, blue Chips of Otani. Molina, that's his second year card. Rookie of Willie Randolph. Uh, George Brett, like third year card is pretty beat up, but still for 50 cents. I'll always grab these. I put them for like three bucks in my collectibles booth and they, they sell, but slowly. A gold mirror of Preston Wilson, John Morant, yeah, LaMelo Ball, Devin Booker, Shaq, Rodman, Booker, Ball, Dr. J, more Booker. A couple more autographs. Who do we get here? That one is Brandon Coleman in a Bo Ben Schwell. Oh, Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Josh Allen. I think that's the pink version. What else do we got? We got Bo Jackson, Walter Payton, Justin Fields, Spellbound. I have a few of these Spellbounds. I think there might be a few more coming up. Kyler, Tom Brady, Tom Brady. A couple more of these autographs. Leaf Draft, Clayton Smith, and Trey Turner. Not the baseball, Trey Turner. A couple of Burrow. These are like the pink. They did a pink and an emerald. I got it. Letter L for Allen. I collect Josh Allen being a Bills fan, so we're going to set that one right there. Another uh, couple autographs, Pro Set, Jalen Berger, and Tyler Show. Uh, another Josh Allen. I'll hey, we'll put, keep putting those up. Oh, I think I need both those for my collection. Uh, Quincy, McKistry, Micah Pittman, and Rakeem Jarrett autographs from Pro Set. I really do not like these Pro Set cards. Darrell Revis, Bowman Chrome rookie card, star status Joe Burrow, Daniel Jones, Lamar Jackson, Kurt Warner. Another autograph, Jihu Chesson. A.J. Brown numbered, Trevor Lawrence, Khalil Mack, and a couple, or another autograph, Kyle McCord. He's a quarterback at least, and a Tom Brady. So what do you think? I think these are some pretty good 50-cent cards. I think I'm going to do good on those. Some dollar cards. Let's check these out. I think I got some decent ones in here. Travis Hafner. There was one time where in the league where he was one of the top players, and this is an autograph number to 25. Definitely going to be a card that I send in to COMC. 
I don't even know who this guy is. Uh, Ser Sergi, uh, I, uh, yeah, that's his name. Autograph from Ultimate Collection for a dollar. Why not? Clayton Kershaw, number 299. We got this. I just thought it was a really nice looking card. So Military Appreciation Series. You got the camo right there from Tops. Thought that was a nice looking card. I don't know if it's worth a whole lot, but I just thought that card was was really nice looking. Great design. All right, we have an autograph here of Matt Duffy, number to 99. Again, this was just a dollar. Kurt Warner. Pretty sure I need that for my uh, Kurt Warner collection. This one numbered out of 99 from Spectra, and another one I bought just because it looks great. Antonio Gandy Golden. I don't think he's in the league anymore, but he could be. I've heard his name not too too long ago, but again, this is a nice RPA. Right there from the Redskins. All right, these cards all came in top loaders. So we got Mike Trout. I was surprised that this one was in the dollar box, being a serial numbered Mike Trout card. Greg Maddox, number 299. It's actually numbered 99 of 99. Uh, I only got that one because it's an orange refractor, so it's numbered to 25. I, I try to get these Hank Aaron special cards when I can pick them up, and uh, I'll eventually make the complete set. I think there's five cards in the set of the specials. And it generally sells for like $20, $25, just depending on condition. And this one's not too bad. Derek Jeter, opening day blue. Mickey Mantle card, one of these commemorative ones. Bo Jackson, number 200. Mickey Mantle card. Derek Jeter card, and this is the one, if you remember, that has George Bush there and Mickey Mantle there down the corner. I think the last couple of these I've sold on COMC for about $7. Daryl Strawberry Donruss rookie. Another just jersey card, Madison Bumgarner. But you got a little stitching there in the uh, swatch. Dual jersey card from the Pacers. Uh, Sean Marion, local guy. So again, it was marked five dollars at one point. That's probably what I'll ask for the card. Another strawberry rookie card. And actually, I think I have one of these in my eBay store right now. These red dragon scales, numbered out of like one ten. Another gold refractor, but this one's Pablo Sandoval. So you see, I had a few Pablos in this lot. He must have had a Giants collection. Uh, we got amazing of Luca. Love these cards. These are some of my favorites. These uh, old flare cards, and it is serial numbered down here at the bottom and just the stickers in the way and an autograph of some racer named Kate Dallenbach. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. It's only numbered out of just 50. Here's the last couple small stacks. I'll show you these first. They were each marked 10 bucks a piece, but I got them for six a piece. Don Mattingly Fleer rookie wasn't too bad a condition. And this one just, it's a red refractor number to five. How can you pass that up? I'll probably throw it on eBay for at least 20 bucks. Uh, maybe a little bit more. I'll, I don't think he has uh, much of a following, but for that price, I can't go wrong. All right, these were $3 a piece. We got Ant-Man Anthony Edwards. This is some sort of tricolor green and purple. David Montgomery, he just changed teams, but this is a serial numbered rookie numbered out of 175. I think, did he go to the Eagles? Is that where he went? I can't remember. Uh, Von Miller, love these checkerboard ones. That one was pretty cool. Uh, these may have been case hits. I'm not sure. Not numbered, but it is a checkerboard. Larry Bird card. Got this one, Ryan Bader, one of my favorite uh, UFC fighters. Actually uh, got to well, meet him in person at one of the fights and get my photo taken with him. So he's a local guy from ASU as well. I haven't even opened this card up. I just saw that it was some sort of booklet card of Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin. So I, I didn't even look at it. I don't even know what's inside. I don't know if it's autographed or just a dual jersey. But uh, okay, it's a really cool uh, dual jersey. Yeah, that's a nice looking card. 3701 strikeouts. Yeah, let's put that right there. Uh, where can we put it? We'll put it right there. Sorry, Josh. All right, last couple of cards. Greg Biffle. I bought two of these. They were just $3, and it's numbered to 75 of a uh, NASCAR guy that I've actually heard of. So uh, grab those. This is just, a, again, another great-looking card. It's Rich Aurelia from the Giants, who has a pretty good following. So he got a bunch of different things. Let's see what we got here. Authentic game-worn jersey. He got a prime patch and uh, a number patch right there. And that card is numbered out of 30, and it's number one of 30. So it's one of those type of cards that I think I just kind of can put a higher price on with a best offer and just kind of wait for that right buyer to come along. Rookie year Larry Fitzgerald card. We got another one of these checkerboards, but this is red and black of Chaz Surratt. Again, not numbered. And the last card I'm going to show you is another Fitz card. This one is numbered out of 45. So what do you think? What's your favorite card? What one's the best value? What am I going to make the most on? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.